What is up everybody, and welcome back to the best Linux channel on YouTube, Byte of Linux. Now, if you have different accounts on multiple websites, you know about the hassle of keeping track of your passwords. I mean, it's just so hard to keep track of all the information. Now, luckily, there are, are programs called password managers available, and in that, you can enter in all your different values, and usually, they store this information on the cloud. Now, there are pros and cons to that. I mean, one pro is that you can sync it up with other devices on different platforms and just have it all there. Now, one downside to that is that it might not be the most secure. I mean, they say that it's very safe, but you might not want your information out there on the internet. Now, that's where Buttercup comes in. It's a great password manager that's installed locally in your system and doesn't sync up with the internet. And it has a beautiful user interface and I'll be showing you that later in the video. And it also has a neat system where you can back up all your passwords so that you can technically sync it up with your other accounts. Just make sure you don't lose that backup. So in this video, I'm going to be installing and downloading Buttercup. Then I will be configuring it, doing a short UI tour, and then I'll be entering a few values in and testing it out. So let's get started. So everybody, of course, the first step to using Buttercup is to download it. So we can go over here and open up a web browser. I'll be using Mozilla Firefox in this video. And we can go to the URL, buttercup.pw. Now, this is the home page. You can already see that, it just looks beautiful. And we can go down, and it automatically detected that I am on a Ubuntu system. So you can download these files, or you can go to the releases page over here. So go scroll down and click on that. And you can see the current version is 0.17 and you have all your different files here so i'm just going to click on the buttercup and b64.deb file and download that save it here and once that's done i'm going to go over there and open up the folder location right click and then open with software install now of course based on your distribution it will be different but on ubuntu based systems you can just do this so it is loading up right now and what we can do now is click install. And the size is 148.1 megabytes and enter in our root password and it's installing. So it is finished installing and I can close out of all these windows and go to the application launcher, type buttercup. And we can see in fact that it is right here. Excellent, so we have it installed now and now I'll be opening it up and showing you the user interface. So let's click on it here, make this maximum. And you can see here that we have a logo and then the version number down here in small text. And now on the right, we have a panel and currently it shows no archives yet. So archives are the file that stores the entries and I haven't created any, so it shows no archives. Now on the bottom here on the left, we have three options, either load an offline archive, create a new offline archive, archive or load it from a cloud service. Now, note this doesn't mean that it stores it on the cloud by default. It just means that if you have it hosted there, you can take it down, which is a good addition. So I'm gonna create a new offline archive. Let's click that. And it'll ask you to place it somewhere. So I'll be placing it in my documents and just name it whatever you want. I'll probably just call this default or something. And click save. Now here, it will ask you to enter in a master password, and you'll have to enter your master password every time you open that archive. So I'll just create a master password, create anything you want, make sure it's really secure, because this will hold all your different passwords. So confirm, and here we have it created. So we have a few panels here. On the far left, we have our main panel, and this has all the main folders and they're called groups in Buttercup. So you can create a new group. We have two by default, general and trash. Now under that, when you click on a group, you have this panel right here, which is the second one from the left. And here you can add your individual entries. So to start, I'm just gonna create a new group here. And for this, I think I'll just call email. Hit enter. And here we have the group, so select it by clicking on it and it should turn blue. And then now here we can add an entry. So click add entry. And here's where we can add all the information. So for title, you can put whatever you want. So I'll just put like Gmail. And username, you can enter your username there. I'll just make up a random username here. 
this doesn't exist by the way, but, and then we can create a password. So if you already have a password here, you can just enter in your password like that, enter it in, and then it will show you the strength of the password. So red is bad, and then it gives you a little hint of what you should do. So it says, add another word or two, uncommon words are better. So let's add something like that, and it's green now. And if it's like yellow, it will also show you what to do. So suppose we have it like this, and here's your password. But what if we want to be super strong, like all the way to the side here? We can click on this little wand icon, and it'll bring up a little password generator. So here, it creates a super strong password, so you can either select characters or words. Characters is better, it's more random. This is very easy. So click characters, and the options are the number of characters. You can increase or decrease that. You can go all the way from 10 to 50. And then here you can select what you want in that password. So you can have letters, numbers, symbols, and if you click memorable, it'll actually just remove all that and just have only letters and put the letters in a way that makes it very easy to remember. So I'll just put it like this, set this to maybe 12, and you click generate and it'll just keep creating new ones with these different parameters. And you can just click use this and it'll generate. And you can see that here it's full strength. Now below that we have this custom fields section here, and if you click add a new field, you can create some notes here, like labels or something. So you can just add in here, like notes or something, and then say like, this is the main account. You can write that, and you can have all that, so make sure to click save at the bottom when you're done, and it will save all that, and actually will hide that, so you can click, if you click review, then it'll just show that. So now I'm going to create another entry under email by clicking, clicking add entry. And maybe I'll set this to hotmail, set this to bolhotmail.com. Now for password, you can see that if I just type in words again and again, it says that avoid repeated words. So it does show different results for each kind of bad password. So I'll just use the generator again here, clicking that wand icon. And suppose I don't want numbers, so just use that, generate, use this. In here we have a very strong password. Now, if you click add new field and just enter something in in the field without setting the label and click save, you can see that I got an error here. I mean, it's all this stuff here, so it might be hard to read, but basically it says that you need to have a label title. And I just wish that they had cleaned that up a little bit, made that a little bit more clear, but of course it is still in the alpha stage, so that is exp expected. So click save, and here we have two entries. Now suppose you want to delete an entry. So what you can do is right click on that entry there and click move to trash. Click yes to confirm. And then when you go into your trash folder, you have your backup that you deleted. Now this doesn't delete it permanently, but from here you can right click again and click delete permanently, or you can move it back into a group. If I click email, it'll move it back here, kind of like restoring it. And it looks like it made two copies and I'm not really sure what happened there. I think kind of messed up there again. Let me just move both these to trash and just delete both of them. So delete permanently, yep, and delete permanently. So all that's done. Now suppose you want to back up this thing, then all you have to do is make sure you save it and exit out of it. Now when you open up Buttercup again, you can see that we have our backup right here and it's easily accessible or we can easily load our archive by clicking open archive, going over to the location clicking the .bcup file, opening that, entering in our master password, and boom, we have everything right here. Great. Now a few more things. So you can actually import your archive from these other password managers like KeePass, 1Password, and LastPass. So if you're thinking about migrating, you can easily do that with this. And of course, you can also create a new archive. You can either click Control N or click File New Archive to do that. And maybe you want to name this one like different or something. I don't know. Save that. And you have a whole nother archive with its own master password. And you have a whole nother window. So you can have multiple ones or you could just create it inside a new group. But if you want to have two different archives, you can easily do that here too. So everyone, that's Buttercup, and there really isn't much to say about it other than the fact that it just it's really great. I mean, you can just type in Buttercup here, launch it up, it launches very quickly, and then just select your backup file here, enter in your master password, 
and boom, you're in. And I've got to give kudos to the developers on the aesthetics, I mean, it's just so well designed, even though it's at version 0.17 in the alpha stage, it looks great, I mean, you can just easily navigate through all these different entries and groups, edit them, the graphics are great, the buttons are good, contrast is also good, so that's really great. And I'm just going to go over to task manager and check how much system memory it's using, and it currently looks like it's using about 200-300 megabytes. And that's because I have multiple instances of Buttercup running. So it would probably use about 100. And that's really good considering the amount of data that it's storing. So if you're not using a password manager already, make sure to get one. And if this application looks good to you, make sure to use this. Just make sure to keep the .bcup file very safe. Because if someone gets their hands on that, they're going to have access to all your data. So keep that secure. So everyone, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button, comment down below, and leave your responses on this video. And also, don't forget to subscribe, and stay tuned for more great Linux videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.